All right, here is my here's my newest addition to my lumbersmith sawmill. I got this uh, push bar, and it isn't exactly what was pictured in the uh, website. What was pictured in the website? I had brackets, two brackets, and then it had a one piece, you know, bended, rounded uh, push bar. And when I got this one, it's got the brackets welded to it, right? So there's a plate and four bolts. And then, you know, the bracket, two of these posts, and then it's got this cross piece. Well, it works pretty good, right? The problem is the inner and outer diameters of these two posts are, were the same, and so it didn't slip fit or anything. So I called the uh, number on the website and got the owner of the company, which is pretty cool from a customer service standpoint. And the guy told me I can either fix it myself and he'd send me some blades or I could send it in and he would solve it and send me back something else um, that, you know, another handle. Well, I wanted to fix it myself and since I'm not a machinist, you know, I couldn't weld it or anything and I'm kind of like not having it welded so I could take it on and off. So what I did is I went and got me a uh, large dowel rod, three quarter inch dowel rod and uh, pressed it in here with some epoxy. And I should probably drill a hole in here and pin it, but it's working pretty good so far. So I've just been uh, pushing it in, see how it leaves a little mark? And then I'm taking the flat of my knife, and I'm just scraping. I'm not carving, I'm scraping. And I scrape till the mark's gone, and then I just test it again. And I keep doing that until I get a nice slip fit. Okay. And now we're going to go put this on the uh, sawmill. And I could have sanded it, but I'm out here in the uh, at the land that didn't have any sandpaper. So I scraped it with a knife. Now I didn't carve it, I just shaved it. And it didn't take very much until I have a nice slip fit. And I needed it snug, I wanted it snug. And uh, if I have a problem with it, as I use it more and more, right now it doesn't, it seems to be working fine. But if I have a problem, what I'll do is I will uh, drill holes through here and put pins in. But right now it works pretty good and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, one thing I might end up doing is uh, there is another addition. See I've got uh, two wheels on this side, one wheel on the other. There's uh, about $75 piece of equipment that will allow me to put two wheels on the other side. I think that'll make it uh, roll a little better. I don't know. It's functional as it is, but uh, the more I play with it, it's kind of like reloading. The more you play with it, the more tools you want for it. So, uh, there we go. I'm pretty happy. Right now I'm building a, a, a new track. And what I'm thinking about doing is buying a boat trailer and, and making that into a track. And then I've got a mobile um, sawmill that I could take. You know, when people have urban wood, storm comes down, they say, here, here's this tree, cut it up and take it for firewood. You know, go out there and cut it up there at the house. So there you go. Thanks.